soldiers are protected from conventional weapons of war, but the current helmet is not specifically designed for the blast wave created by an improvised explosive device, or IED. A soldier caught in the path of the explosion could suffer a brain injury, even if he walks away without a scratch. In a one-of-a-kind blast facility at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, engineers precisely generate the battlefield shockwave from an IED. Well, this is a, basically a shock tube that was developed here at UNL. Uh, it's used to simulate blast waves. Pressure in the tube builds up until it breaks through and explodes, releasing a powerful wave that is a duplicate of the IED blast wave. The pressure. And that's... That is the actual pressure. In a control room next door, engineers are able to generate the exact complex profile of an actual shockwave. High-speed video captures what happens in only one thousandth of a second. The specially designed shock tube could lead to a new generation of protective headgear and body armor. So one purpose would be uh, to uh, experimentally evaluate different headgears, the head protection systems. So we do not fully rely on the feedback from the field. We can, at, the, at least at the first stage in the laboratory, we know which type of design will be effective, which type of design will not be effective. The shockwave facility is part of UNL's Trauma Mechanics Research Initiative, a collaborative venture supported by the U.S. Army. As engineers, we are interested in increasing the quality of life. By understanding what causes the brain injuries, we are really helping mitigate or eliminate the process. The goal of another project is development of the realistic explosive dummy head or redhead to help answer questions about how brain damage occurs. Tiny fiber optic sensors record what happens when the redhead is hit with a blast wave. Uh, we needed to create something that would mimic that in terms of uh, how the pressure wave passes through that material and what happens to the shape of that pressure profile. Um, that way we can better understand what happens when uh, traumatic brain injury is developing. Engineering mechanics professor Joe Turner wants to know what happens when the human body is under stress. Research to the next level. I think it is important that we collaborate across institutions to tackle important problems like blast traumatic brain injury. Through UNL's Trauma Mechanics Research Initiative, researchers hope to understand why and how a blast wave causes injury using a unique blast facility and the specially designed redhead. Use computer simulations to test human neurons and tissue in order to better understand traumatic brain injury. And provide leadership to help U.S. soldiers in the field. We are interested in understanding how we can make these helmets and other protective devices better so that it can withstand the new threat in terms of the shockwave of IEDs. It's a, one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had, um, you know, being, being part of this project. Um, this is for saving life. Trauma mechanics research, a chance to change lives and save them.